everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day. You might have noticed that my channel name has changed. I thought that it would be a good idea to bring in the new year with a refresh in my channel to Simply Styles Lux. I feature a lot of luxury handbags, SLGs. I do a lot of fashion, try on hauls and browsing in stores. So I thought that my new name branded my channel and what my content is all about much better than Silent Essence. So it's out with the old and in with the new. So for today's video, I thought that I'd bring in the new year by talking about regrets in some of my purchases that I have made in my luxury handbag collection. I only picked three because I usually buy um, items that I am really passionate about, especially at the time. And I curate um, a, my luxury handbag collection to items that has to have a functional element to it. Uh, my handbags are meant to be worn and not necessarily just to look at. So there are three handbags that I had purchased in the past that I haven't been reaching for them at all. Following this video, I will be uploading my wish list for 2022. Let me go ahead and get started. The first handbag that I have chosen on my regret list is the Louis Vuitton Croset. Yes, this gorgeous, cute little bag. I mean, how could I put this on the regrets list? It has the beautiful top handle. I mean, look how cute that is. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I might even take it off the list to be honest. Uh, it has all the features that I love. It has the crossbody, beautiful feature of this bag. Uh, you open it up by just unlocking and releasing the lock. And it has a gorgeous rose ballerine pink interior. There aren't any scuffs, there aren't any watermarks, and it's in perfect condition. I may keep it, but I am thinking of putting this bag up for sale only because on my wish list I have a YSL bag that is similar to this bag. Let me know in the comments below if you might know what that bag is. And when you watch my wish list video, uh, let me know if you are correct. Gorgeous, gorgeous bag. But uh, like I said, it's not because I don't love it. I still love everything about it, uh, but I haven't been reaching for it. And I think I only have worn this bag once or twice, to be honest. Let me know what you think. Should this uh, be on my regrets list or do you think I should wear this bag more often and just pull it off my shelf. The next bag is on my regrets list because again I haven't been reaching for it. It's not because I don't love the bag. I love every feature of this bag. I think it's so cute and versatile. However, when I purchased this bag it was uh, going to be discontinued and it was a bag that I really really wanted right from the beginning of my luxury Louis Vuitton handbag collection and I wanted this piece to add to my collection I, and I think because of that reason alone I made the purchase not necessarily because it would have been a bag that I would gravitate to and wear um, on the daily. Having said that the bag is the Louis Vuitton favorite. This is a very very cute bag. I absolutely love the chain feature where you can wear it on your shoulder because it's long enough to wear on your sh shoulder like so or you can wear this as a crossbody and it comes with a beautiful leather strap. A gorgeous bag that I haven't been gravitating to. It's sitting on my shelf looking pretty. <laughs> I love the beautiful uh, gold detail with the Louis Vuitton imprinted on it. It's in monogram. This is in the PM size. It just has one large center compartment with um, a slit pocket at the back. This is on my regrets list because I think I bought this bag solely on the purpose of it being discontinued and I wanted to add this to my collection. I think this is a very beautiful classic bag 
and it would look so beautiful to wear on a daily basis. Uh, and then, you know, um, taking the strap off and wearing it as a shoulder bag or a top handle bag would look really elegant uh, for an evening out. And I just love the uh, detailed gold chain, wearing it as a crossbody and just like letting it to drape down below like so. so. For my third and final bag, let me just backtrack just a tiny bit. This bag was technically my first ever Louis Vuitton purchase. And I purchased this style, this exact style bag in my 20s. And it was my first Louis Vuitton piece and it was my first luxury piece. I absolutely loved this bag. If I can find a few pictures of me in my 20s wearing this bag, I will insert it in the video here. And it was so beautiful. However, I had then gotten married and had my first baby and we were in a kind of a budget pinch with our the purchase of our new home and uh, baby items so we had to sacrifice a couple of things not very many things however things that were worth of value so I sold my first luxury Louis Vuitton piece which I had regretted a lot uh, afterwards, uh, but it helped my family out. And you know, at the end of the day, that's what really matters because um, it's, it's not the material things, it's how you can take care of your family. Let's fast forward to the start of my collection of luxury items. I felt at the time I wanted to have that bag back into my collection although it wasn't my first bag that had started my collection it was actually the louis vuitton graceful that kicked off my actual luxury collection i wanted to add this bag in and that bag is the louis vuitton small looping bag um, so i added the louis vuitton bandeau and i wrapped around the handle of it Actually, I have a, a very old video that I had posted on how I did that and I and I left it on ever since. But just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to take off the bandeau so that you can see how the looping strap looks like. Okay, I found this bag on Fashion File and I was so excited when I saw it that um, I don't think I really cared about the condition of it because it was the only ba bag available at that time. So I, I purchased this bag. The bag Vachetta uh, is darker. Um, there are quite a few creases on the bag. The flap is curling up on the corners here and there's a little bit of it's, it's not completely flat on the inside i don't think i was a hundred percent really pleased with the condition of the bag having said that uh, I, I have worn it uh, the, f the first few months when i got it and i absolutely loved it because it just brought back so many wonderful memories in my 20s it's really old in style and i really do not gravitate to this bag so really it's more of a, a display item on my shelf and yes i haven't been gravitating to this now i don't know whether i'm going to resell this bag or whether i should just keep it and just have it for memory purposes because um, it i didn't pay very much on this bag which is a good thing um, but I just, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not crazy about this here, about the way it's curving out and, you know, just the condition, overall condition of this bag is not the best. Um, but you know, uh, this is discontinued, so it's not like I can buy a new one. Um, you know, there's no back pocket. It's just a very simple canvas, uh, bag that is wrapped around um, but 
that is it. Those are my three luxury regrets uh, in my collection. I hope you like this video. If you're not yet subscribed, please go ahead and do so and hit that red subscribe button down below. I would love to have you back and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye for now.